Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll explore what .lottie is, how it's different from the .lottie JSON file format, and we'll walk you through how to create and implement a .lottie on a coding environment in just a few easy steps. So let's get started. Let's first talk about what .lottie is. .lottie is an open source file format that's designed specifically for Lottie animations. So it's a file format that aggregates one or more Lottie files and their associated resources, so that's images, fonts, etc., into a single file to enable efficient and easy distribution of an animation. It's a lightweight and highly optimized file format that's designed to be fast, efficient, making it perfect for use on the web and mobile applications. Some of the advantages of .lottie are 1. It's establishing an identity by changing the file extension and including metadata and preview images. And the second benefit is in archiving animations and their assets together, which solves storage and integration problems and increases storage efficiency. And thirdly, it uses compression to dramatically reduce file size, which obviously reduces operational costs and also reduces how much bandwidth is used. Now that we know what .lottie is, let's learn how to create a .lottie. There are a couple of ways to do this and we'll be using three tools to make it super easy. So firstly, you can use lottie to .lottie converter. This tool lets you upload your lottie JSON file and it'll convert it into a .lottie that you can download right away. Alternatively, you can head over to .lottie.io, which is a free online tool that allows you to convert your Lottie JSON files into optimized .lottie files. Simply upload your Lottie JSON file and .lottie.io will do the rest, creating a highly compressed .lottie file for you to download. Thirdly, you can also use the Lottie Files platform to download a .lottie file. If you have an animation in the form of a Lottie JSON, simply download it as a .lottie and you are good to go. Now that we have created our .lottie, let's learn how to implement it on a coding environment. So to implement on codepen.io, just go to the .lottie GitHub page and go into player component. Here scroll down, grab this URL, copy it, go into settings and paste it right over here. And instead of 1.0.0, .0, type latest, then save and close. All right, now we'll go back to GitHub and we'll grab a .lottie player from here. And we'll paste it. And there you go. In loop, we'll add controls and that'll give us controls. As you can see, it's controllable and it's looping. And to change this Lottie to a Lottie of your choice, just go to your Lottie and click on hand of an embed and enable asset link. In here, you can select dot Lottie and copy the asset link and just paste it right over here. And you can change the size by typing style equal to width 320px. Awesome. And that's it. With just a few simple steps, you can now create and implement .lottie animations on your website. So that concludes our video on what .lottie is. We hope that you found this tutorial helpful and informative. See you next time.